What's up guys, JFM here back with another awesome Minecraft Pocket Edition update video. For you all today I have the review of the beta build 6 for Minecraft Pocket Edition 0.11.0. I'm going to go over all of the new features and fixes they've done, so stick around and you'll learn some fun stuff. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, uh, one of the new features that they added is actually right in the home menu here. You just go into the settings and you go into the skin section. As you can see, they've added fully three-dimensional rotating preview characters for the skins. Also, I want to put a picture of a tweet up on screen here where they did mention skin packs coming to a future beta build or alpha build, um, whatever you want to call it, of Minecraft Pocket Edition. So, in the future, we may see skin pack options options up here as well, along with the Alex, Steve, and custom skins. Also, I love, I love it that they finally added the hat layer. I haven't mentioned this earlier, but 0.11.0, we're going to have hat layers, and we haven't had that before, so I think that is really, really cool, and definitely something I'm looking forward to once this officially releases. Now, on to some gameplay. So, here we are in a beta build 6 world, and I want to show you guys one of the new features they added in this build um, so it's actually a really really cool feature before if you wanted to change where an item was located in your hotbar you'd have to switch it out for something else so say I wanted to move this sword over I'd have to switch it out and then place the sword over there that's how this update used to work but now you can put anything anywhere so for example click on an open inventory slot and then click on that item up in your inventory and it will move that item I just move the shovel over there I can also switch it with a different one so I can move the shovel over there you guys see it's really really convenient this is something that MTP has been missing and I think it's going to be really really convenient and quite simple to do and uh, I think it's uh, just a nice feature overall um, also I was thinking I would really like to see a different way to drop items because as you guys can see when you're dropping items it does take a little while to drop so maybe they could add uh, I don't know something where you hold the item for just a quick second until the name comes up and then you flick it out of your inventory uh, of course that just opened my notifications or whatever that was but I think that would be a really cool mobile friendly uh, way to do it I don't know I just thought you know since they are messing with with the inventory bar, hot bar, maybe they could do that. I mean, and what do you guys, what do you guys think? You could let me know in the comment section below. Other than that, that was really it. I mean, of course, there are going to be a lot of bug fixes. There were some major ones in this update. Um, chests actually didn't save what items you put in them in the last beta build. There were a few other ones as well. A lot of lagging issues. None of the day, always day switches, survival to creative switches, or renaming world. None of those uh, world editors worked. Now they do so things are coming along with the 0.11.0 beta for sure so yeah if you guys would like to check out every single bug that was squished by the developers in this beta build i will leave the link to the changelog in the description below but i'm not going to go over all those tedious bugs today also i do want to mention um i did put out a video yesterday uh, focusing on the nether in Minecraft Pocket Edition, and that was a really, really awesome thing for Tom Tom to tweet out. I gotta love him for it. Uh, Tommaso Cecchi, one of the developers of Minecraft Pocket Edition, tweeted out this screenshot of the nether working in Minecraft Pocket Edition, and it looked fairly complete, so there is a small chance, a very small chance, that we may see this in 0.11.0, but I wouldn't hype it up. I wouldn't get too excited. It's probably going to come in a future update. I just thought that would be worthwhile, um, even though I'm in a beta build 6 video. I thought it'd be useful to mention just in case you missed it. But yeah, that was really all. Hope you guys did enjoy. Looking forward to reviewing beta build 7 once it comes out, or the official update. You never know. You never know. You can always hope. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy. I'll talk to you all later. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.